Oh, what's going on guys? It's Nando back with one more video. Man, am I excited about this unboxing. This is not a new product, but this is exciting for me because I've been a fan of the Microsoft Surface Pro lineup for a very, very long time. I've actually owned several of the uh, iterations, starting from the first, the second, I believe the third, and I even had a Surface RT. Now, this is the Surface Pro 4 better. So it's actually just called the Microsoft Surface Pro. This is the most recent update. So as of right now, when you're watching this video and probably for the foreseeable future, this is the, uh, the newest model. Um, now, obviously there's different versions of the Microsoft Surface Pro, whether it's like a, a M processor, an i5, an i7, and then, you know, different kinds of RAM configurations, so forth and so on. What's dope about this one is that Microsoft had made a very slight um, update to their Surface Pro lineup. I think that they did so in a way that didn't warrant calling this the Microsoft Surface Pro 5, but it was big enough that uh, they wanted to release that update. So right off the bat, probably the biggest thing and the biggest update about the Surface Pro is battery life. I think I think Microsoft claims about 50% more battery life than Microsoft Surface Pro 4. And to me, battery life is crucial for technology. So with that being said, I'm gonna do a quick unboxing. I'll show you what's inside the box. What's dope about this is I don't know when you guys are watching this video, but this is a bundle. So this is the Microsoft Surface Pro with this uh, type cover. I guess they call this the Platinum version or edition, whatever you want to call it. And all of this right here is $799. I think I'm saving about $360 because the keyboard itself is never included and it costs you about 120 bucks more. Um, now off to the right here, you have the Microsoft Surface Pen. This also is not bundled, but this also was on a slight sale. And I got this for about 90 bucks or 85 bucks and usually it runs for 100 bucks. So, with that being said, let me unbox this, um, then I'll read you a couple specs here. Actually, I'll start off with reading you a couple specs. So, Windows 10 is what comes in the uh, software. This is the i5 processor, 128 gigabytes of uh, solid slate drive, and then this comes with 8 gigs of RAM. There you have it, i5 with 8 gigs of RAM. I'm sure I could give you guys a little bit more information in terms of specs but i'll leave that for another time um, i'm just so excited because for the price guys 799 dollars i don't know if this is going to be a permanent deal or not i got this at best buy um, i'll link in the description below um, this at uh, amazon because i think i i saw it on amazon and you can price match um, and I think Microsoft themselves are selling it at this price. Oh, you get that, that smell of just like that. I think it's that keyboard and I'm freaking excited. Um, lately, I've been using a Pixel Book. I will be doing some comparisons between this and the Pixel Book, um, as well as some final reviews on the Pixel Book. So if you haven't subscribed, do consider doing so. And at any point in this video, let me know in the comment section below what kind of comparison uh, you'd like me to focus on. Battery life, software, features, gimmicks, things like that. So I'm gonna start by peeling this out because this has gotta be the keyboard. And yes, it is. Look at that. Man, that feels good. That feels good. That's a pretty, a pretty generous size uh, trackpad. Keys feel clicky. I'm not a keyboard snob, nor am I a trackpad snob, but if I were to pick between the two, I'd prefer a better trackpad experience over keys. Uh, I, I can deal with keys, it is what it is. You can always buy another keyboard, you can always buy another mouse, but in terms of trackpad, in terms of multi-gestures and things like that, I think a solid trackpad um, is very, very important. So let me know in the comment section below if you were to pick between the two, which one would you prefer to have a better experience with? Let me know. So let's put this aside. And then, 
if the app support was there like you get on Android or even half of what you get on Android or half of what you get on iOS, man, it would be such a dope lineup, but you know, it is what it is. But the Surface lineup, the ability to just grab this thin tablet, guys, this thin tablet and run with it is exciting. You can't express that, you can't explain that, you can't talk about that enough God, hey. um, but it's so light it, and it feels good. It's sturdy. It's well built. Super dope. Let me move that aside as well. So here we've got, I'm assuming literature. I'm not even going to open it. The uh, power cable. So I'm not even going to pull that out. There you have it. Now, one thing that I do want to note is that Microsoft includes its own proprietary charger for the surface um if i were to show you guys see this little slot right here guys this slot is where you would connect your charging cable here is where you're going to have a full usb here i think is a mini display port here is nothing but a headphone jack on the top um here you have the power button here you have the volume rocker and at the bottom, you've got nothing but the uh, the little connector where the keyboard goes right there. Obviously, this has a kickstand. You can uh, pull the kickstand out by just kind of putting your finger in here in this groove, and then this kicks back. Let me unbox the Surface Pen. Let's see if there's anything else in here. Uh, literature, there's literature in here instead of a quadruple A, but it is a quadruple A. I don't know if uh, the battery's already in it. This is very light, but it feels good, it's sturdy. And if I'm not mistaken, you're gonna be able. Oh, and guys, by the way, I, I didn't mean to forget, but there's your front facing camera, and uh, there's your rear facing camera right there with some microphones, and then the pen would connect there it is it connects on the left hand side left hand side is where you feel see that's not coming off that easily i'm sure you can shake it off but it's on the left hand side so if you're holding your keyboard like your your tablet like this keyboard goes at the bottom um surface pen goes on the left hand side like i said i'm going to be reviewing this Possibly even uh, this versus Pixelbook versus iPad Pro, uh, the 10 inch, and we'll go from there. Hit that subscribe button. I'll catch you guys in the next video. Most important thing to remember is to stay geeky. Peace, salute, and adios.